developing news this morning. One person dead, another in the hospital, and state agents deep in investigation after Berkeley County deputies say a multi-county high-speed chase turned into a shootout between suspects and police. It all started in Orangeburg, but came to an end in Latson. Those two cities are about 60 miles apart. This is a story we've been covering since the early hours of the morning. And at midday, we're bringing you team coverage. News 2's Raymond Owens talked to law enforcement officials close to the investigation, but we start with News 2's Taylor Murray to break down exactly what happened. I've been on scene all morning. Earlier when I got here around 5.15 this morning, there was a strong police presence here at the rest stop near mile marker 203 on eastbound to I-26. That's still the case right now. Berkeley County, Charleston County, South Carolina Highway Patrol all on scene still, and SLED is leading the investigation. Now, Raymond Owens has more on what exactly is happening, but take a look at the video from earlier. You can see this entire rest stop near mile marker 203 flooded with law enforcement. As a result of the officer involved shooting here this morning, two vehicle collisions happened at this rest stop off of I-26. There were no injuries from the wrecks and we're told they did not involve law enforcement vehicles. Now, Charleston County Sheriff's deputies are in, in, still on scene right now investigating that collision that happened as a result of the officer involved shooting. Right now, we go to News 2's Raymond Owens. He spoke to officials. He has more on the officer involved shooting that took place and how they're responding to it. Raymond? Well, Taylor, I had a chance to talk with Colonel Chris Williamson. He's the commander of the Highway Patrol and Berkeley County Sheriff uh, Dwayne Lewis. They held a press conference here at Charleston Southern at about 7 o'clock this morning. They say that at 1.49, uh, Colonel Williamson tells me at 1.49, a trooper clocked a suspect vehicle going 104 miles per hour. The vehicle then began on a chase down I-95 north toward I-26. They turned on the I-26 and headed toward Charleston. Charleston. Now, Berkeley County Sheriff Dwayne Lewis tells me that's when they got involved sometime around 2.30 in the morning. Of course, that all ended there at the rest area in Ladson. Exchange of gunfire was, was uh, occurred between uh, Berkeley County Sheriff's Office deputies, South Carolina Highway Patrol, and the suspect. His deputies, nor any troopers, were injured as a result of this incident, nor were they uh, uh, hit by gunfire. So you, you heard the sheriff there saying a suspect. They exchanged gunfire with a suspect, and that suspect, of course, now in custody. But there's also that uh, person who died there at the scene, also shot uh, during the incident. We don't have details on who that individual is or how they may be connected to this. But like you also heard, no law enforcement was shot uh, during this either. So there's uh, definitely some information uh, that will be forthcoming. Now, Sheriff Lewis tells me that he does have two deputies that are now on paid administrative leave and Colonel Williamson tells me he has multiple uh, troopers on leave as well. Those are individuals who actually shot fire or fired shots during the incident and uh, keep in mind though that is standard operating procedure when there is a, a shooting like this for uh, those individuals to go on administrative leave. Live in North Charleston, I'm Raymond Owens. Count on two. Thank you, Raymond. Once again, here's what we know. One person is dead and another is hurt after a chase that deputies say started in Orangeburg. Shots were fired back and forth between suspects and a Berkeley County deputy and state trooper. The whole thing ended at a rest stop on I-26 in Latson. No officers were hurt and now deputies involved in the shooting are placed on administrative leave while SLED investigates. Of course, we'll be following this story through the day and have live reports through this newscast also on News 2 at 4, 5 and 6. You can stop by the top story on our website, countonto.com.